uh, it's, it's great to have a hero, Sam. Uh, didn't think you'd be down to help us out when we called you, but... Hey, try to get comfy over here. It's going to be a long night, dude. Um, I apologize for how messy the place looks. <laughs> you know, Sean and I are still doing our best to get as much stuff as we can. You know, tracking down this valuable stuff is such a hard task, and we can't really get our shit together in the meantime. Anyways... Thought it would be a good time to let you know we finally thought of a good name. Fazbear's Fantasyland. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a fun name, right? We needed something that sounded attractive to a child. Um, hey man, so your job here is to take good care of this place, okay? Everything we have here is extremely valuable. We have to sell our kidneys to basically restore any of this shit if it gets broken, you know? And, uh, we're a little worried that someone may break in and try to steal something. So, you can check out the security camera over your far left by clicking on the blue button. The building is two stories tall, so you can toggle the first floor cam and the second floor cam. Then, over to your right, you can flip your maintenance panel. You know, the equipment is pretty old and low budget, so... Sometimes systems may go offline every once in a while. Just reboot them using the panel, man. Um, do be cautious with the light system, though, by the way. Uh, the lights can turn off at times, and will likely damage the video system, too. So, yeah, keep an eye on that. One of the animatronics doesn't react right in the darkness. It probably has something to do with its programming. I think it's Freddy or... I don't remember, to be honest, but one of them just has an immediate reaction when there's no lights on, and it's very likely it'll start wandering around. Okay, um, just keep an eye on things. I may not be here tomorrow, but I'm sure Chun will leave you a message. Oh, gotta go, man. See you later.
Glad to hear of you, buddy. Wilson had to do some college work, so I had to record a message for you myself. Okay. First of all, we got full animatronics, so we'll be able to take a look at them through your cameras. Second thing is that we did such a rare find in the truck. I'm not sure if you've seen it already, but we found what appears to be the very first animatronic to exist. Dude, it's like really old. I mean, the smell is brutal, so I assume it's been kept unused for a very long time. It's really odd though, dude. It has these sort of rubbery things inside that look like guts. Really strange design choice if you ask me. I don't think he was an attraction at Freddy's, not as far as I remember. Oh, and by the way, we checked the mail and found something very cool. It's a letter from one of the security guards from Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. His name is Mike Schmidt. He read about the attraction in the newspaper and sent us a letter to congratulate us. And also share some of his experiences at Freddy's. It's insane, man. He said Foxy would peek from Pirate's Cove and suddenly run through the hallway, and Mike had to be really quick and close the door. I know. That's crazy. I think it says a lot about those old rumors that claim the animatronics were haunted. I always thought that was absurd, but hey, Mr. Smith doesn't think the same. Can you imagine that Foxy just activates in the middle of the night and tries to catch you the same way? <laughs> I'm just joking. Oh yeah, have you seen Foxy? He's in Camp 9. Uh, it might be a little dark, so it might be hard to notice him. But we left him sitting on the floor. He worked fine, I think. He's kind of glitchy, but he works. And again, I was just joking about Foxy, dude. You know, we're, we're sure these buddies are totally friendly. They wouldn't hurt anyone. I'm sure. Well, we'll update you as soon as we find more stuff. Anyways, finish your shift, keep cool, and I'll talk to you soon. Good night.